Hey, what's up everyone? I'm going to throw up this video and kind of get you caught up on some of the projects I've been working on. Uh, please excuse some of the uh, still shot slideshow stuff. I hadn't really been making videos and I took pictures of the work like I always do. But I thought I'd uh, go ahead and interject them into the video as a way to give you a little bit of background uh, to the projects as we proceed forward and uh, try to give this YouTube thing another shot. So I hope you like it. 1971 K10 project. Above the back window here we got a little bit of metal work to get started on and I use a little bit of blue dicum as a trick that I learned here on YouTube as a way to see how I'm doing. There it is finished out. Now we move over to the right side cab corner and you can see that this thing is uh, beat up and repaired kind of badly believe it or not that's before I started working on it and it even got to the point where I was so frustrated pulling on it with the arc puller that I cut it out and put it on the English wheel like you can see here uh, next we get into inner cab corners this is the lower part uh, behind the door and there's the outer cab corners all finished up in this shot you can see I'm trying a trick of welding washers every one inch and shoving a half inch chromoly rod through the center and pulling on it in order to get rid of an arch in the back of the cab. This short bed Chevy had aftermarket gas doors cut into the bed sides and in order to remove them we had to section in a repair. This type of repair is hard for a guy like me to do because the welding process tends to want to warp the bedside pretty badly. And in this little short video you can see that it's been body worked and is in slick sand. I'm using the fluorescent lights to check for straightness as we begin the blocking process. As we turn around here, this is a, just a quick shot of the sheet metal and machine area in our shop and our paint bank, EnviroBase. Psych! We use uh, Onyx by BASF. Kind of got to fit through the painter's area in order to turn the light on in the booth. And as we come back around, uh, Nestor and I just kind of shoved everything into the paint booth. The hood, cowl, and tailgate are ready for slick sand and the bed is all blocked out. It's already been slick sand, blocked out and ready for final primer. Okay and this is just a quick shot of the restaurant that's attached to the hot rod garage. And the end of the day Friday before Memorial Day, this is where we were at as I was blocking on the cab to the 71 Chevy. Nestor and I have been tied at the hip to try and get this thing done. Uh, this is a shot of the bike fabrication area. There's a board track racer being built, our metal fabrication area, and just in general the whole shop. As I start to pan through, this is the case. We are waiting on a repair for the grill on the case and this is a very challenging repair that's being done. Uh, as far as I know that's the only thing we are waiting on besides a final detail. This thing runs and drives fine and is a beautiful piece. We'll be heading up to Wyoming. Uh, this is the Cobra replica. It's a fab factory 5 setup. It's a running and driving chassis at this point. We are going to fit the body panel. And finally I'll give you a shot of the 1964 Chevy Malibu SS. This has been a great project and I will update you more on this uh, in a video to come. Uh, as it sits now it's sitting in single stage and uh, there she is.